Well, hello again. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me on my latest episode from Diecast Powder Coating. Today, we'll be restoring a Matchbox GMC refrigerated lorry. This one was built between 1967 and 1970 with the older type wheels. The model carried on from 1970 to 71 with the faster wheels, where the line was then stopped. So here we have this sad looking truck. Uh, the paint is pretty much worn. So let's have a little look at what she looks like. Pretty solid, but uh, say the paintwork has been chipped. It's got a, a little plastic area underneath the cab and the plastic door was missing, which I managed to get hold of. Uh, this is a few months ago, this one. This has been sitting in the drawer. So I thought, let's get this one done. I've got two or three vehicles lined up to do later on, but let's get this one out of the way. The glass windows are a little bit loose, a little bit worn as well around the edges. So first of all, we'll take this little under chassis off out of the uh, bottom of the cab. And then we'll just use the deburring tool just to grind off the lips of the flanges. As always, I don't take too much off because I do push the wheels back on afterwards without having to grind them or re burr them. And then put those wheels off, there's all the parts together. So due to the usual time restrictions, I'll be using some paint stripper today. It works very well on the Matchbox models. And then very quickly you can see that the paint starts lifting off. After this is done, give it uh, a good wash to get the, the remaining paint remover off, and then we'll be ready to give it the usual rub down with the spinning world brush. I do apologise about uh, no background sound of the. Uh, the drill. Uh, once I've done that uh, motorbike review the other day, um, I forgot to switch the sound back on. So unfortunately, uh, this was only done in one day, and I just finished off the next day, so the sound is back on that. But I had noticed that the sound was off, so I do apologise. So we go over, you say, completely with this spinning wheel brush. See any loose paint that's still on there? And then we put it into the oven for the usual 10 minutes, just to bake out any impurities left in the metalwork. And then once it's out of the oven, usual rub down with some acetone. Okay, we're now ready for the painting. First of all, I'm using the Electrostatic Magic Mid Green on the lorry area of the, uh, of the model. I was going to go for a duck egg blue, but uh, I thought red and green would uh, suit better. So, just lightly dusting. Don't want to lose any detail. 
just try to get the uh, amount right. And then the main lorry part, we're going to use electrostatic magic mid red on this one. Quite important to try and get uh, the powder into all the little nooks and crannies. And then into the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees. And there we are, back from the oven now, and they've actually come out very nicely. Still managed to keep all the detail in there. So now I'll try and get this plastic door in there. It's a bit fiddly, I was trying to film at the same time. Just put uh, one little tab in a little hole at the top, and then try and clip it together with the base. Right, so we'll start uh, giving the glass a good clean with some soapy water. As I mentioned at the beginning, it's just a couple of little scratches on the front of the glass, which I'll try and get out shortly. And now washing the rather dirty wheels. I'll just show you the one wheel. I'm sure you could manage cleaning the other three. And I'm just using some very, very fine emery paper now, a little bit of water as well, just to try and improve those scratches in each corner of the front of the screen. And this is the end now of day number one. Thought I'd just uh, put the glass into some revive it, place revive it. And then also I'll do the tiles as well and then leave them to dry overnight. As I mentioned before, Pledge Revive it is a floor polish, a very good floor polish. Right, next day now. Um, now I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the little tabs at the top of the cab, which should just clip the glass in nicely. Push it down with whatever tool you have available toothbrush would do and now just putting the little plastic base in I've chromed the front of it for the grill and the lights and just putting that in now and then we'll fix that with a false fake rivet whilst you watch me fumbling around with the uh, the rivet it's just all pre-drilled it never goes straight in I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers and for your comments, both subscribers old and new. Thank you very much for sticking with me. As you know, it's a little bit uh, more difficult to do them at the moment, but uh, I will do them as soon as I can. So uh, thank you for your continuing support.
as you can see still fumbling around with this I mean rivet I ended up using a little pin headed tool to try and uh, push it in which did work eventually and there we go this is a little tool I used so that's now in And then finally, just using some MB paper just to polish up the axles a little bit using the drill. And with the wheels back on, that's it, she's finished. And there's a little Door now working. And the glass in and the chrome has come through on the lights and the grill. And I've also done the fuel tank. Okay, just have a look of what she used to look like. Very old sad paintwork. As I say, I was gonna try and go for a duck egg blue for the rear, but I've decided to go for the green in the end, proper green, which I think suited it better. It was missing the door, I did manage to get uh, a new door, and it's been sitting in the drawer for several months now, so I thought before I carry on with the others, let's get this finished. So here she is, this is what she looks like now, nice glossy tyres, been in the pledge to revive it, a little bit of extra chrome around the axle areas, the bumper was chromed, the grill, the headlights, the fuel tank, and the rear truck part is a nice mid green. So I hope you think that looks okay. And then there's a new door at the back. Thank you very much for watching today. Hope to see you again very shortly. Please take care out there, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye for now. Thank you.